Se você quer, você pode, com a cabeça forte e o coração forte, ninguém consegue vencê-lo. Okay, now, me and my Franco training partner, Franco de Camargo from the Cross University team, are going to show you how to defend the guard, how to, how to sweep, how to finish from the, from the guard position, many very important variations from the guard position. I hope you guys like it, because those are very important techniques for you to know and to learn well. Let's start by covering some of the basics, some of the fundamentals here from the guard position, which are the arm bars. Those are good options that I have. In this case here, I'm going to do with my right arm. It means I go under his left, hold behind the triceps, hold behind his triceps so he cannot pull his arm away. See, now I come around. I kick around with the left leg, but at the same time I escape my hip, you see? Now my knees go together, I throw the guy over into his back, now I go under his, un against his thumb, you see? Once again, let's deal with this position here and the different options that you have to go to the arm bar, control him so he doesn't punch me, let's say he wants to punch me here, I just control his arms or Perhaps he will hold behind my neck. I can go to the same position from here. You see, he holds behind my head here. Now I'll go and hold behind the triceps there. With my hand. Now I have to spin my leg and throw my left leg around. Around and control his head. Squeeze my knees together and break against the thumb. I always go against the thumb over here. Once again, same position, let's say he's holding again, behind, or he wants to punch me, I can easily block, as you can see, it's not hard at all to block punches from the guard position, in this case here, I will go, hold again, and spin, spin into the arm bar, I always control the arm, so he cannot take his arm out. Now, I will squeeze my knees together and apply the pressure.
Let's cover some techniques here I really enjoy doing when I'm, I have somebody in my guard. Okay, in this case I go to the arm bar, the guy defends the arm bar, I switch to a triangle. This is good for Jiu-Jitsu sport or no rules competition. This is exactly how it's done. You see how he put his arm, pushed his arm to the side there, squeeze my knees together. You see, I am going to a regular arm bar I've shown you before, going to the arm bar, he's able to pull his arm out, now I switch to a triangle there, bring his arm to the side, my left foot behind the right knee, squeeze the knees together and bring his head into me. Now, let's deal with more options here that are really good, okay? I can bring the guy into you, into me. As I bring him into me, he might put his hands on the ground, you see? I capitalize on this kind of mistake. I'm staying inside so he cannot punch me. Stay inside with my arms. He cannot get punched. Once his hands on the ground, I have a very good option here, which is to go to a shoulder lock. You see, go high under his armpit. Don't go low at the elbow because you pull his arm out. Go at the armpit level with one arm. Hold the wrist. My left leg must block him from spinning. See? The guy is here trying to base himself. He's trying to base. I stay inside. Bring him into me. Now he has his hand on the ground. You see? He's having his hand on the ground. He's trying to get away, trying to push on the ground to get his head off. I stay inside, block, block any kind of punches he may throw. He cannot headbutt me either because I'm controlling his head. I come up, see, I'll come up, lock, make my a grip with the left hand and the right hand holds my wrist and bring my left leg and block him from rolling and spinning off the technique.
let me show here one of my favorite techniques that I do from the guard position. That's when an opponent wants to punch me. I open my guard, put my feet on his hip. As I put the feet on the hip, I control my opponent, as you can see. He cannot move, he cannot hit me with his punches. Okay? And as he's ready to throw a punch, you see, I catch his punch, catch his punch right there, bringing one arm inside, and I simply go to a triangle over there. I squeeze my knees together. Once again, this is how I do the triangle. See, I bring my foot directly behind my knee and I squeeze my knees together to get the most pressure. The opponent wants to punch me, I bring my knees inside, bring my knees inside, he tries to punch, I, once again, I set him up, bring one leg over the arm that I'm controlling, deflect his punch to my side, you see, deflect the punch to the side, reach upwards into his neck with my leg, and I squeeze my knee, bringing his head into my chest. This here is another technique that we're going to cover right now, which is a basic technique, simple, I'm blocking my opponent's punches, right there, my feet on his hip, he cannot really reach my face to punch, you see, now he tries to, he tries to hit me, he tries his best, this is what I'll do, I'll let go his arm and go under, you see, how I go under, and I will apply an arm bar here going against his joint. See, my right knee breaks his base, right there. See, it's important. I will show you exactly how it's done here. Okay, I'm controlling, keeping him from punching me. Now I choose to go under his arm. You see how my leg helps my grip? I hug his elbow into my chest. My, his hand, his wrist is trapped between my shoulder and my head. Hug it and bring it in. See, let's evaluate this position again and see and cover all the aspects of it. That's when the opponent is punching me. See? I block him, don't give him access. I lift him up with my leg, come under. Hug his arm, must trap his wrist. You see how important it is to trap his wrist right there between my head and shoulder. My knee breaks his base. You see, my knees squeeze together as well.
We are going to elaborate on the guillotine now. And the reason the guillotine is important is because even an experienced fighter might tap to it. It's very hard to defend this position if you do it properly. And this is how I do it. Bring the guy into me, reach, make, grab my hands and stretch him with my legs. Push him away with my legs and I arch. Once again, we are here. And my opponent wishes to keep a distance from me, wants to stay away from me. I want to bring him in. You see? When he's ready to punch, I'll bring him in. Keep his head close to me, reach around his neck really deep. Now, my left hand, make a grip, hold my right hand, and I'll push him away with my legs. You see? Push him away from me. Separate his head from his, the rest of his body. See, we go again. See, he's ready to punch me. When he punches, I will bring him in to me. Hold his head tight against my chest. Reach around. Around as much as I can. My fingers grab each other. And I push him away with my legs. Push him in. Spread his body. In this instance here, I am doing the guard, I'm controlling my opponent's hand so he cannot punch me. I have total control of his arms. He tries to reach back now, perhaps to push, pull his hands back. I will come up. Once he goes back, I will go up into him. My right foot goes into the ground and I lead forward with my hip. Now I get the mount position. See, this is a realistic position. Anytime the opponent goes back and sits back, I see he's off base. I'll go up into him. And this is how I do it. Go up, open my feet, reach as far back on his, uh, behind his back, lead with my hip. Once again, you see, I'm trying to punch him perhaps, or he's just sitting back too far. I'm going to come up and lead with my hip here. I don't need to use any force at all. Right foot is there for to give me some base. And there we go. Another purpose for doing the guard is so that you can put your opponent on his back and this is how I do it. I open my guard, I'm doing what is called the spider guard over here and I'm going to escape my hip, go under, go under his arm behind his back, I'm going to move 
and push his knee away and go into him, getting the mount position. You see, I embrace the opponent, escape my hip slightly. As I escape my hip, I control his base. You see, his right arm is his base, and I sweep. It's important for me to be able to control his base when I come up. From this position here, I will go into my opponent. My right foot is inside for the sweep. And I'll throw him on his back. This is a little variation, different variation from the previous technique that you can use. See? Spider guard. Now I choose to go with the hook inside, in between his legs, come up into him, controlling the base, which is his right arm. Now I simply kick up and throw all my weight to my left side, going to a mount position. Now, let's say I am doing the guard position, my opponent wants to stand up to create space to punch me, perhaps. This is what I do, controlling his arms, feet on the hip, one leg goes in between and sweeps. There we go again, my opponent stands up, the right foot remains on his hip right there. The, I'm going to hold his ankle, hold behind his Achilles tendon, my left Leg comes in between his legs, sweep, going to the guy, perhaps dropping an elbow. The opponent stands up. Now he's going to punch. I hold. Hold his Achilles tendon, sweep, going to him, dropping the elbow. I find that when I'm doing guard and the opponent stands up, his legs become vulnerable. I can easily go to different attacks for the legs here. And this is an option that I have. Going around, breaking his base. Now I go into a leg lock from here. You see? I keep him away from me. Away. Put his ankle under my, my armpit and arch. 
In this case, I will break his knee. You see? Once again, the opponent stands up. I keep him away with my feet. Go under, break his base. There it is. A knee lock. Squeeze my knees together. Arch my hip. Once again, that's how the position is done. Point punches, I keep him away with my legs, no problem. Now, I stick one leg in between, break his base, put under my armpit. See, I squeeze my knees together there, arch my hip. See, now the opponent stands up. I'm going to repeat the same technique so you understand it. See, I block, I block any punches here, anything. He cannot access me at all. He cannot reach me with any of his punches. See, keep him on a distance. I go into my leg like here. Very easy transition. I will break his knee, you see. Another technique that I've been successful in applying here is when my opponent is in my guard, in my close guard, that is, and he is trying to punch me. You see, I will simply deflect his power away from me, escape my hips slightly, escape my hips slightly, push him away from me. I go into my opponent, my left hook goes into his left leg. Now, I can easily go onto him, placing my right hook and breaking his base. From here, I could choose to strike or go into a choke, as you can see. Once again, oh, let's say my opponent wants to punch me. You see, I deflect his energy away from me. I deflect his power. Escape my hip slightly. My right hand reaches all the way around. I escape my hips slightly more for my feet to come out, place my left hook, go into him with the right hook, push my hip forward. I can strike or choke.
Me and my friend Franco, my training partner from the Carlson Gracie team, have shown you how to defend the guard, how to tap people out in the guard, and how to sweep, also how to take the back from the guard. I hope you guys learn this position, because those are the two positions. Many people don't show you the right techniques. I've shown you the proper way to do those techniques, and I hope you guys liked it and had enjoyed it.